And we're back with another episode of B Scar TV, and we have a vlog for y'all. Earlier this year, I went down to Sao Paulo, Brazil. The U.S. State Department sent me down there to help celebrate the bicentennial, which means 200 years, the bicentennial of United States and Brazil diplomatic relations. It's a huge deal. So the U.S. State Department, they figured, what better way to celebrate this enormous event than through American football? What better way? American football is the connector. And so the U.S. State Department, they teamed up with NFL International and USA Football, and they sent me and my partner in crime, Ashley Clam, who is a superstar, goes to Kaiser University. She's on the uh, U.S. flag national team since she was in high school. She's a baller. And so we went down there to Sao Paulo to help spread the good word about tackle football and about flag football. And with the NFL playing their first game in South America here this season, they're gonna be playing in Sao Paulo, Packers and the Eagles. And so the NFL figure like, what better time, what better place than to go and spread the sport of tackle football down there in Brazil. And then also flag football, is getting a ton of momentum. It's a huge deal. There are millions, literally millions of kids and adults playing the sport of flag football. Girls and boys, men and women. I mean, everybody is touching this sport. Uh, it's making the game of football so much more accessible. You don't need the helmet. You don't need the pads. You just need, you know, the belt, the flags and, and a ball and, and, you're, and you're rolling. And in 2028, the Olympics will include flag football as a sport. So the international competition is heating up. I was down there in Sao Paulo. I'm scouting out talent, trying to figure out, honestly, where do I fit in? I'm thinking I might have to be the first outside linebacker to go from professional tackle to professional flag. And so I had one question to Ashley as she's like telling me all the rules because like five on five seven on seven I found out there's no fumbling in flag so like ball security isn't a thing and she's just putting me on game and I asked her uh how is my 260 pound frame gonna be used to my advantage because in tackle I've been I've been using this weight to my advantage for a lot of years so I'm trying to figure out with flag how am I gonna do this Ashley can, can I be physical out there can I Unfortunately, Ashley didn't sound too confident, but so it goes. I hope you guys enjoy my trip down to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Love the Brazilian food, culture, people, the energy, the fandom. I mean, I'm definitely going to be back down there. And I bet after watching this video, you guys will be too. Ah, where do I begin? Oh yeah, the food. I just had an absolutely delicious trip out to Sao Paulo. And lucky for me, they hooked me up with first class. Where I sip my Chardonnay and I'm about to get cozy. You know, you kick your feet up and turn on your favorite show, get a little shut eye, and there we are. Landed in Brazil to uh. Ooh, a little luxury car service and uh, we're off. One of the first stops along our journey was a school located in one of the favelas of Sao Paulo. Next, it was time to play some football. Ashley just could not help herself but to try to score touchdowns. Look at her just out here torching these kids. The kids loved her more for it. American football is a new sport in Brazil, so a lot of times the teams and organizations will be sponsored by local soccer clubs. Our next football clinic was held on the Corinthians campus. 
Mm-hmm. You see me lacing up the J's. Come on, we out here. We out here. We got the cleats on the turf. We got a big squad too. We got a big squad. Let's get to work. Total Bean. Good. Good. How you feeling, coach? I'm feeling good. Feeling, feeling good? good? Total Bane. Total Bane. Total Bane. In case you were wondering, Total Bane quickly became my favorite words in Portuguese. It means all good, just like these routes you see me running. And we're off. Your favorite player? Lamarck Axel. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> With the 15. <laughs> Your favorite player in the NFL? Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Mahomes and who? Tyreek Hill? We got a youth clinic here with the Braves. About to get it in. See if we can't get a little, a little seven on seven. I'm, I'm the quarterback. After I was done teaching the kids how to play quarterback, it was time to eat. Luckily for me, it was little Mateo's birthday today. And so out of respect, I tried everything. Look at all that cake. Delicious. It was an honor to be able to speak to the high school students and share as much knowledge as I possibly could about the student-athlete experience in the United States. Ashley Clam and Brennan Scarlett are two U.S. football athletes, and they came here to share with you their experience with sports in the United States. You really need to like reach out and, and, and you might have to text them three times. Or you might have to keep emailing them like, hey, you know, I'm getting better. Or, hey, I'm at this camp or this and that. And, and you really got to be your own PR or, or marketing agent. Speaking of knowledge, the Museum of Afro-Brazilian Art in Sao Paulo, Brazil, had a wealth of it. I love how art has the capacity to lend us a different perspective or understanding outside of our own experience. And the museum was just beautifully curated to not just give us beautiful art and nice pictures, but also a story of the nation of Brazil and, and its people. And now the show we've all been waiting for, NFL and Braza. I'm in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and my job is to find as many NFL football jerseys as possible. There's one right here. One of the goats. Okay. Okay, Vaughn. Hey, hey, Ron. Fun fact. Sao Paulo, Brazil hosts the largest Super Bowl watch party in the world outside of the United States. Brazil absolutely loves football. I was shocked to see so many different types of jerseys in the stands for this Super Bowl watch party. We got a little Cam Putin, Mahomes, another Kelsey, we got an A-Rod, we got a Steven Jackson, you don't see this too often, Oregon State legend. And it wasn't just 49ers or Chiefs jerseys, these were jerseys of folks' favorite players and favorite teams throughout the whole league. So I decided there was only one logical thing to do. Count as many jerseys as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. 
there was a lot of work done this week, so it was time to relax and take a little stroll around town. On Avenida Paulista, they have a famous McDonald's, and in Brazil, they call Mickey D's Mackey, and it's actually on the sign. I thought it was cool. And, you know, a lot of this talk of Mackey, it was also time for me to get a little workout. And they had this library on the street. Oh, look at the design, look at all the beautiful books. And then they had this secret restaurant in the, in the back. And they had cake, cake in the library. Oh, I love Brazil.